Good morning, everyone. You're probably thinking, oh my gosh, is my clock five minutes slow? And no, it's not. I wanted to come on uh, five minutes early and uh, just get everyone warmed up. We only have 20 minutes together. So uh, welcome as you're coming in this morning. Thank you so much for being here on day one of the From Blah to Bloom Challenge. It is so helpful for me to um, get to know who is in the room. So if you don't mind getting to your chat, and I love using the chat before we get going, I would love to know where you are this morning, this afternoon, this evening. First of all, where are you? What is it? Is it morning? Is it midday? Is it evening for you? I would love to know that. And then what is your why? What is your why for answering the invitation to be a part of this three days with me? What is your, essentially I'm asking, what is your blah? And today I'm going to share one of my, and there's, there's usually many blahs in our life, but I'm going to be sharing one of them. Um, if you are a note taker, make sure while you're while you're getting into that chat, letting me know where you are, if it's morning, evening, or afternoon, and your why for being here. If you're a note taker, please grab uh, a pen and paper. I want to encourage you to have water within arm's reach, and just make sure your space, make sure you're able to stand up, and that there's not a bunch of stuff on the ground. Make sure it's a safe space for you to. Um, to move in a moment. And we're not doing like a full workout or anything by no means, but I do want you to move. So good morning, Dawn from Wisconsin. Okay, weight control and health. And these are really great outcomes when we do the things. So what else? Why, I'd love to know from other people, why are you here? Where are you coming in from? What are the outcomes that you are hoping to learn more about? Because those outcomes, become a reality when we take inspired action, all right? And that's what the From Blah to Bloom Challenge is all about, is helping us move from that laying on the couch, feeling stuck, um, to being inspired even in those early mornings, um, as an example, or you, you know the days where you feel like you are chasing the clock, what um what what can we make sure that we are doing okay you guys dawn cannot be the only one is everybody else's keyboards stuck this morning what is happening we need more than just one person on there perfect sherry thank you aging gracefully sherry where are you tell me where you are um there was just something that i wanted to oh yeah um what did i want to google on my phone really quickly um oh yeah one second. I think I know. I, I, you know, math in my head. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. All right. Oh, you're at the beach. <laughs> Amazing. Erica, you're in Vegas to be more connected with my body and self care. Okay. All right. So it is early for you, Erica. It's like, it's like six in the morning for you. So thank you for being here. Um, Karina's in Monterey, weight and better health. And, uh, yeah, lots of grandbabies this year. So when you enter that phase of your life, you darn well want your body, your mind and your, your metabolic health to be serving you so that you can be a part of those, um, those grandbabies lives in a really fun, energetic way. We are, we have one minute before we get going. Don't, uh, or remember, we also have a live session later on today. By no means do I expect you to double down every day. However, if you want to jump back on this evening as an accountability, or it's, it's going to be at 6 p.m. Mountain, 8 o'clock um, p.m. Eastern, by all means, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, hi from Tucson. So it, yeah, 6 a.m. Gainesville, Florida. Carolyn, hi. Curiosity, other workout techniques. Okay. All right. So I think over these next three days, these next 72 hours, um, you are going to be pleasantly surprised because what I have built basically over 30 years 
is the system that we're going to be going through for these next three days. All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about these next three days, like um, shopping at Costco. All right. And, you know, I think we've all had that experience where, you know, <laughs> And, and I don't even, and I should, but I used to take a list to Costco and I just stopped doing that because lists didn't matter. But you know, at Costco, they have the samplers. So you go around and you take little samples and you had no plans of buying, you know, the 10 pound box of, the example I use is the sweet potato crackers because the sweet potato crackers get me every damn time. So, and we can't buy them here at Costco in Puerto Vallarta. So when I go back to Saskatoon for the summer, that's one of the things that is in my cart in Costco in May is the sweet potato crackers. So I want you to think of these next three days like your Costco sampler. We are going to be covering a system that includes three really important pieces. All right. Mindset. Movement and metabolism or, or metabolic health. I'll be using those words interchangeably, all right? And you're going to learn how through a concept called in rituals, you can start to literally change your body, your mind, your spirit with these three pieces. Because what I have found literally over the 30 years that I've been working with women, actually, I was the first woman that I healed. And that's how I came to be in the space that I am is, it takes those three pieces. You can have all the amazing meditations and mantras in the world. Yes, 100%. You can be consistent with your movement. Yes. You can understand metabolic health and metabolism. Yes, 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 and yes. And you will impact your life in a positive way. However, when you understand what happens when you bring those three together in a lifestyle that has those pieces automatically built in, literally like shoot for the moon and you might fall on a star, that, that's what's going to happen. It's going to feel, it's, it may feel like, why is this so simple? Why has no one ever shared this with me before? And so we're going to start with this Costco sampler roadmap. Does that, does that sound okay? Is this what you thought it would be? Are you like, what the hell? I didn't sign up for any of this. Could you just <laughs> go into the chat and let me know if you are like in for this or if you're like, I'm actually going to go back to bed <laughs> because this is not what I expected at all. So let me just see, is it, are you, are you yeses? Um, or is this maybe not what you had, um, what you had expected <laughs> and I'm gonna, I am gonna wait until I get more than one or two, um, <laughs> thumbs up or yeses. So two people are good. Everyone else. Okay. There. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Participation in this is important because what I'm trying to do, everyone is I'm trying to get you from, you know, what the school dance when you were like, and I was there too, like, you know, a, a kind of a wallflower and just, you know, watching the other kids in their slow dances side to side. But until you get in there, that is leading the way to these inspired actions, all right? To passively sit back and expect new information to become new learning and new learning to become new wisdom. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen. So maybe going into the chat and giving a thumbs up or giving a yes is super out of your comfort zone. And if it is, I want to give you a high 10 because these are the things that I want to offer you this week is that the change and the transformation happens outside of the circle that you are currently standing in. Okay. The change and the transformation happens outside of the circle that you are currently standing in. Um, Okay, so in, but not what you expected, right? So there are, um, I have a hair on me and it's really kind of like princess and the pea. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be bringing these three pieces of the puzzle together so that you can understand how they fit and how your body, mind, and spirit can change. All right. I want to share something with you. 
today's kind of a special day. So when I do things, I, I kind of curate them in a, in a unique and in a special way. And so did you know that from today, there are 77 days left in 2024. There are 77 days left in 2024. Like what? So there is significance to the number 77. 77 happens to be a number of transformation, awakening, and self-discovery. The number 77 lends itself to indicate coming changes of self-discovery or increased knowledge through understanding oneself. All right. So that is the energy that we are in. I can offer free workouts. I can do webinars. I can do all those things. You can follow me on social media, which I hope you do and, you know, share information, or you can go to YouTube on Tuesdays at 10 o'clock when I'm doing a free cooch ball on the wall workout. You can do all of that. You can do all of that. Yet what is often missing is that guide to help you connect the dots to see how all the pieces work together. Because when you're just doing the one-offs and the one-offs and the one-offs, you know what? You kind of become like a busy bee. You're doing all the things, but yet the forward momentum seems to be eluding you. All right. My blah story, my biggest blah story started when I was 17 years old. And from the years 17 through 21, even though I was doing things that, you know, I graduated from high school, I moved away to university, I was graduating from university, getting my first job, career job, I was extremely unhealthy. And I can remember my blah moments like they were yesterday, and they still kind of make my stomach twist. Um, but I would, when I would open my eyes in the morning, on my bed stand, on my nightstand, there were 11 bottles of prescription medication that I would get sit up and I would have two big glasses of water that I would bring to bed with me. And I would start opening the 11 bottles and taking one pill after another. That's how I would start my day when I was 21 years old. That is the blah. There were moments where my mindset was in a very dark place. I actually hated my body. I hated me. I hated who I was. I never wanted to end my life on this earth, but I did not love myself. Are you kidding? I didn't even like myself. So it, it was bizarre to me how Jason, my then fiance, now husband could love me when I couldn't even bear to look at myself in the mirror, my body, I taught fitness. So I was leading people through movement, but it was all such, I was such a fraud. It was so fake because I was going through the motions. I were I was working muscles, but with real no intention to longevity or a certain level of wellness. I was doing it so I could get a paycheck to pay for my tuition. And I had no idea what metabolic health was at that time. But had I known that, mine was in the gutter. My garden was full of weeds, had no sunlight. The soil was cracked and dried. And there was nothing fertile about my body until I made a switch in my mind, which happened six months after my doctor said to me that the pain was in my head and I was seeking attention. And many of you know the story, but that day when my doctor said to me, Jana, we believe the pain is in your head and you're seeking attention, have a nice life. It was like another cut in the lifeline of Jana to not love her body. Maybe you're in a moment like that right now where you're not even sure how you can manage the pain for the next hour, never mind the next week. When I said to you there's 77 days left in 2024, is that does that make you like cringy? Ugh, right? The holidays are coming up, chaos and family and, and you know, or is it is it exciting for you? What how does your mind interpret that? I had to retrain my mind. The words I was using, the voices in my head were making it a very scary place for me to be. So over these next three days, we are going to identify where you are in your blah story. It could be something you are currently in. 
It could be something that you experienced a year ago, a decade ago, but it is still holding on to you, right? We have these belief systems that we hold on to. They almost imprint themselves into our DNA. They're like a, a soundtrack in our mind with this, you know, the same songs playing over and over and over. And unless we shift that, unless we shift that, those of you who are here to learn to be healthier, to lose weight, that is going to be a bigger challenge because we are missing a crucial part of the framework, the mindset piece, all right? So this morning, when you got an email from me reminding you about this call, in that email, there was a big pink button that said, download your day one worksheet, all right? Now, you may not have had time to do that. Do not worry about it. This is your day one worksheet. There is a great big flower on it. And um, we're going to walk through what this is. Thank you, Justin. So there's the, there's the worksheet, okay? And you don't have to print it out, all right? You can, um, you, you could draw it if you want to. You could just write on a piece of paper. But every day, today, tomorrow, and Thursday, we're going to create a spark statement, all right? Dr. Joe Dispenza said that we would much rather live in our familiar past because we've been there, right? And ab about 50% of what we believe our familiar past is really didn't even happen. It's just we've filled in the blanks. As memories kind of get a little rusty, we fill in the blanks. So we would rather live in that familiar past than the unfamiliar future and how we live there how do we live in that familiar past is because 80 to 90 percent of our thoughts the 60 to 70 thousand thoughts we have in a day 80 to 90 percent of them are the same okay yesterday sunday saturday they're the same thoughts they're the same thoughts so this worksheet is going to be our catalyst to start to shift those thoughts registering for this challenge is an action that's gonna to start to shift those thoughts. Getting up this morning early is how you're gonna to start to shift those thoughts. Uh, Justin dropped the handout here in the chat. If you wanna click on it, you can do that and then you'll have access to it on your computer. But essentially what this is, is your guide for today. So what is a spark statement? A spark statement is an I am and then two words. Okay. And the third word is emotional in, in its kind of characteristics. Okay. So I can say, I am abundant. I am an abundant being. I am abundant. I have abundance. I am abundant. Okay. Or I could say, I am joyfully abundant. Okay. I am curiously abundant. I am happily abundant. And so this is the first piece of your worksheet for today. What is your spark statement? We are going to start talking to ourselves in a different way. And today, 10 times. So maybe it's once an hour until you kind of wrap up your day. You're probably not going to go to bed at five o'clock in the afternoon, but um, I want you to find 10 opportunities today to say your spark statement out loud. You can put a sticky note on your mirror. You can put it on your computer. You can change your screensaver on your phone. I am joyfully abundant. I am joyfully abundant. And can I, can I share something with you guys? So I decided this morning when I woke up, that was going to be my spark statement. And so then I get this Facebook um, message this morning. It's obviously not real. However, listen to what it says, because I'm going to reframe this. It's from someone named Julie Leach. And she says to me, congratulations, Jana. I'm Julie Leach, the Michigan Powerball power play winner. So, you have been fortuitously, fortuitously, fortuitously picked among our among our electoral machine on Facebook lucky winners, getting a hundred thousand dollars this month <laughs> from my giveaway program that's going on. Are you ready to claim your winning? <laughs> so that's what I got this morning. So 
I know the Julie doesn't have a hundred G's for me. However, I'm going to go with the message of the universe sending me abundance, right? So I am joyfully abundance and Julie just confirm that, uh, that I am joyfully abundant today. So what is your spark statement? And if you want to practice, or if you want to write it in the chat, please, please do that. And that's how today we're going to check the box for the mindset part of this trifecta of mindset, movement, and metabolic health. All right. So let's cover what are our in rituals in rituals. And this is also in my book, right? On Thursday, we're going to be celebrating my book launch as well as day three of this challenge. You're going to hear the word in rituals a lot this week. And you're also going to, um, oh, Dawn, I love that. I am wonderfully made. I am unbreakably strong, Mary. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. There are some great examples of spark statements. So what are your in rituals? So keep writing your spark statements. I'm going to come back to them. Your in rituals are your chosen inspired actions that you are taking today. So that's an example of an in ritual. This is an example of an in ritual, getting my hand on a tree, getting my feet on mother earth, taking in a big diaphragmatic breath. Those are all in rituals. We need to move past the belief system that health and wellness is hard, that health and wellness takes time. Every morning that we wake up, we all get 1,440 minutes to choose in that day how we're going to spend those minutes. Is, does, does three minutes sound like a lot to get on your cooch ball every day? Out of 1,440, I would say no. But let's look and see when was the last time you were on your cooch ball. All right. So I'm also wanting to like kind of poke the bear a little bit and make you see how a reframe is critical. Can you see again, we're tapping back into mindset. I'm moving to the movement part of things in the in rituals uh, framework. But again, we tap back. You can see how mindset is absolutely critical. Without that piece, the other two are not going to be optimized. Movement and metabolic health are not going to be optimized. All right. So what are your in rituals? Your in rituals are going to be these petals on the flower. And every day, this flower is going to get more petals. And half of the petals are going to be filled in by me. And half of the petals are going to be filled in by you. All right. So today... The petals that I have filled in for us are eat one cup of raw veggies before your two biggest meals of the day, uh, complete three rounds of diaphragmatic breathing, 10 to 15 reps, and then complete an activity of daily living with the opposite hand. So tonight, brush your teeth with the opposite hand, try and sleep on the other side of the bed, try and eat your breakfast, lunch, or dinner with the fork in your other hand. Give your brain an opportunity to think a little bit differently. We need to, we want to, we are striving to get out of that familiar past. We don't want to live there anymore. We want to create something new. Yeah? Do we want to create something new? Can you give me like a heck yeah, or I'm seeing some nods, I'm seeing some thumbs up. We want to create something new. We have 77 days to start this process so that maybe for the first time in your life, January 1st is just an amazing day to celebrate the start of something new, meaning 2025, that you're not rifling through your fridge, throwing out things that you don't think you should be eating, or you know, starting this wicked workout re regime that doesn't last more than two weeks. That is not what we want. We want something sustainable, doable, manageable, and you get to do it in this community. All right. So here's your homework today. You are going to fill in the other three petals. And as a collective, we are going to make sure that the three petals that I have filled in are also completed. All right. Then Justin, can you drop the link to the telegram group? Then and this is the only place that you're going to be able to get your prize for the day. All right. That is the Blooming Babes Telegram group. In the Blooming Babes Telegram group, there is a channel it's called or a topic area called From Blah to Bloom. You are going to either take a photo of your worksheet and post it in there when it's done. Or you can go into the group and just 
write a little post with the three in rituals that you did today and, and say, I did all six, here were the three I added. And when that happens, Justin, do you want to pin? We've created some blah to bloom wall art for you. So this is day one. And these are, you just get, these, these are four different designs or colors. So I've printed these out. I printed the lighter ones out and I put them in frame. So this first one, when a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment in which it grows, not the flower. So over these next three days, when you complete your homework and show me, because that's part of the accountability, show me, then my team will be monitoring the Telegram group and we will email you today's inspirational wall art. You don't have to print it out and put it on your wall. You could, again, just save it and put it as a screensaver. Um, you can you can print it and again, put it on your mirror, wherever you wanna put it. But this is, you're gonna collect these, almost like these little stickers. I, I used to love my sticker collection when I was little. That is what you get for completing your daily worksheet. These inspired actions are going to create a different you on Thursday than you are today. So get that, get that through, get that through your head. Um, I, uh, I want to just mention Danielle, I am vibrantly healthy. Yes. Like I am vibrantly healthy. There's so much there. They, I mean, everything around us is energy. We're vibrating. Being vibrantly healthy is a different level than I am healthy. I love that. I'm incredibly creative. Yes. Damaris, I am incredibly creative. Like that just has so much like that. It, I can't help but smile when I say that. And imagine that versus um, I'm creative. It's a statement for sure it is, but let's up the emotional impact. I am graciously receptive. Yes, Christina, like I am graciously receptive. Bring in that energy. I'm gratefully optimistic. Yes, Sherry, I love that. Okay, so I think everybody is is understanding what your spark statement is like. I hope you understand what the in rituals are. I hope you understand this worksheet. If you have any questions at all, get into the Telegram group and ask. I'm going to be in there all all day. I mean, this week is is kind of a it's a beautifully highly scheduled week. How are you going to spend your 1440 minutes today? What are you going to do that's different? Um, are there any questions right now? Because I'm already three minutes over what I promised would be my 20 minute little blurb. Any questions at all? Is everybody clear on your mission? Is everybody accepting their mission? Is anybody like, I'm out of here, please. I want, I, I want this to be a fit. Okay. I don't want you to be like, yeah, I'm in. And then I'm actually not in. So <laughs> I kept it. Oh, Mary. I love that. Yes. Accepted. Okay. Amazing. 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 So um, thumbs up. Hey, Wanda, uh, Danielle. Yes. Okay. So this is, this is your, this is your assignment. Okay. Let's cheer each other on. I want to leave you with one last kind of little story. <clears throat> do you guys know that um, there's that story? No, that story, but there's like a, I think she was on an advertisement. I think her name was Rosie. She was like on an ad in maybe the, the late seventies or eighties. I can remember she was this woman and she had, I think maybe like a yellow handkerchief in her hair and she had bright red lipstick and she had like, she was, you know, showing her bicep like strong, like it was like this independent woman. Um, and maybe we'll find, maybe we'll find the picture of her for, for tomorrow. But do you know what? That picture of that woman, Rosie, that was signifying strong, independent, um, Rosie the Riveter. Yeah, maybe that's it. I don't even, I didn't even know she was Rosie the Riveter. I thought it was, I didn't know, I knew it was Rosie. But do you know what? I think we got that wrong because in my mind, Rosie wants to do everything on her own. The message I feel she is sending is that an independent woman does stuff on her own. And that is absolutely the furthest from the truth. As a divine feminine being, 
which each and every one of us here is, we crave community. We excel in community. Like back in the like medieval times when the red tent was, you know, put in a village for the women to go to be in community when you were menstruating, like that's powerful. Even though we were sent out of the community in that moment, we were sent to commune together. We are here to be in community together. There is strength, there is inspiration. I really invite you to reframe what Rosie means for you. Community is absolutely clean. That is what you are gonna find here. Consider getting into that Telegram group. Make the most out of this week. I am so grateful that you were here, got up some of you stinking early. Justin, thank you for being here. He's in Phoenix, so he was a 6 a.m. or we, we did our tech check at 5.30. We'll be back at 8 p.m. Eastern. Like I said, if you, I know some of you just jumped in before, after I said this, but you're not required to come to the second live um, call, but you absolutely can. You absolutely can. And um, maybe by then you'll have your homework done. I would love if anybody wants to share their blah story, send me a message in the Telegram group. I would love to, you know, feature women in our community that are moving or have moved from their blah into their bloom. Um, and that's how we, we up level our, our world, humanity, our families, our communities, and amazing things are going to happen this week. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everyone for being here and I will see you if not this evening, tomorrow morning, same time, same place with a new worksheet. So get your homework done. See you later. Bye-bye.